our special guest tonight is well known in the sports world as he has treated pros and weekend warriors alike. He's here to talk about the Peak Form Fitness Challenge. Welcome to the Solar Sports Desk, Doc Gars. Nice to have you here, Doc. Hi. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, the Peak Form Fitness Challenge. Uh, what exactly is this uh, thing that's happening on Sunday, I, I do believe? Um, I guess everyone knows what an IQ test is all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, based on what your score will be, you're either going to be anywhere from a genius to a, an idiot or a moron, <laughs> depending on what your score will be. Yeah. Uh, and an IQ test actually is like a predictive thing for the future mm -hmm. based on what your scores will be. It, it's an indication, more or less, how you're going to earn in the future, what your educational attainment will be, and how much you're going to make, yeah. what kind of job you'll have. No? There's also the EQ, okay. the emotional quotient. That's yeah. when they use the, they call it the marshmallow test. Mm -hmm. So that's the, to test your emotional quotient. Uh, but there, there's no test for, to measure fitness or to predict what you can be in okay. the future based on a, on a certain test. So that's what we tried to come up with, with a peak form fitness test. No? It's a series of 10 stations. Mm -hmm. Each will give you a score. And the 10 different components of fitness will be measured. And based on that, you'll have a total score. And then you can compare your scores to other people and come up later on with a, like, for inch for inch, pound for pound, who's the fittest athlete of them all? So it doesn't okay. matter because, like, let's say somebody who's about six feet, uh, let's say six four, right. and uh, you know bigger, bigger than I am, you know, and, and, and stronger and heavier. Uh, usually, the, they'll be able to, I guess, uh, if it's a wall ball uh, exercise that they're doing, they'll be able to do that more than, than somebody my size. Right. Uh, in in this case, you guys uh, fixed it so that. It actually goes, like you said, pound for pound, yeah. and you know. And we we make it such that um, your weight categories and height categories yeah. are established, and then you actually do your challenges based on your height and your weight. Okay. So it's the first okay. test wherein it's personalized. Okay, great. Okay, because this looks a lot more intricate than the usual PE fitness tests in grade school. Like say. Mm -hmm. In CSA, you know, in grade school PE, you're supposed to do like the flexibility test, mm -hmm. stretch forward, see how far they measure how far you can reach past your toes, right. or the, they time your suicides, that sort yeah. of thing. So this, what what's the science behind the tests that you guys do and the the physical exercises that they have to do in this? Right, you you have to make sure that all the components are tested, which I think which is what most of the fitness tests can't do. So we test everything and. You have a numerical score. Okay. It's not like a pass-fail thing. You're healthy, you're fit, you're not. No? It's, uh, it, you actually come up with a score, which you can compare with other people. Or you can take the test now, do a fitness routine, work out for like six months, take the test again, and see if you've actually improved your fitness. Uh, so, you, so you know if it's actually working for you, right. whatever, the, whatever training that right. you're doing. So what are some of the stations that you have to go through uh, in this fitness test? Um, I guess since we try to come up with all the different components of fitness, so... Some of the stations incorporate most of the <laughs> elements of fitness. So like the first station is called the vertical rope pull. You're actually pulling a, a rope which is attached to a sandbag, which is okay. a percentage of your weight. So if you're a heavier okay. guy, you lift a heavier bag. Light female, you carry a lighter, lighter load. Okay. And where the bag will fall after you release the rope depends also on your height. So the taller guys, the bag has to fall all the way down to the ground. The shorter individuals, there's a platform to make the bag land quicker. So it's all adjusted to your height and weight. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we see Jaron Teng actually doing some exercises here behind <laughs> you quite frantically. Balls. Yeah. What, what exactly is happening here? What is he? Uh, that's called the ball up, ball down. We're in, you transfer balls from an upper shelf to a lower shelf. Everything will be for a minute, no? Okay. You have to finish everything in a minute and try to transfer as many as you can. You can see he's actually standing on a balance yes. pad. So that's actually adding to the degree of difficulty. So now you, you tally everything and then you compare to the scores that the other people do. And you come up with a, with a mean score wherein you can base your actual score on the mean. Wow, okay. So who are the, we, we see Jaron doing this. So who are the other um, athletes and I guess personalities that are going to be uh, joining the fitness test on Sunday? Um, a lot of the PBA players have expressed 
with their willingness to to join. Yeah. Of course, we have a lot of celebrity athletes who will be coming over, like yourself. <laughs> but will yeah. I be performing? I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we also, a lot of the teams, I guess, and the athletes that we handle from the different sports like tennis, rugby, yeah. football, a lot of them will be coming over. So it, it should be a fun event. So we're going to have like volcanoes there, Ascals there, PBA players there, yeah. and we're going to have like the top athletes of the country, of the country uh, performing your fitness test. What are your expectations as far as, uh, I guess, how fit they are? As compared um, to your, as compared also to, I guess, uh, your ordinary, uh, ordinary right. weekend warrior. Well, the nice thing, I guess, if you get all these athletes who are on the elite level coming in, they're coming from different sports, different disciplines, I guess it's going to be time for bragging rights. Everyone's okay. going to say, I, my sport's the toughest. Yeah. Once I, once I go to this test, I, I'm going to do the best. And they, they, they start talking to each other, saying that I'm going to do better than you. So it, it's going to be a nice show. All right. I'm actually all looking right. forward to it.